Pokemon tournament will be getting a brand new update on June the 15th. It will be changing quite a lot of the characters. So in this video, I will be giving you all of the details that you need to know about what this update will be doing to the game. So the patch will be 521 megabytes. It will be basically for various move alterations. So let's start off with Lucario. So his burst mode has been changed. Um, they have fixed a glitch that causes support Pokemon to be unable to be called after attacking. Bone Rushed, they have downward swing. Follow-up combo damage has been increased. Forward strong attack reduces the ease of guard break. So it sounds like Lucario has had a buff with this update. Pikachu, the Volt, uh, the Volt Shock fist move they have increased the length of time allowed for opponent to block nuzzle they have changed the stall time that meant you were unable to grab the pokemon machamp they have changed his low stand strong attack shortened stall time with first hit to allow opponent a chance to block god of War, backward weak attack they have increased damage and speed of god of War. Weavile, they have changed the article crash, the signal slash move. They have increased the stall time for that move. Suicune, I probably have pronounced that wrong. If I have, I must apologise. Um, but they have changed the weak attack um, to strong attack. Um, follow up, they have increased the distance. The opponent is pushed back when they guard. Suicune's mid-air weak attack has been changed as well. They have reduced the stall time given to opponents when they guard. Charizard has been changed as well. His air slash move, they have increased the hitbox size to fix a problem of the move mission. Synergy Burst, they have reduced the duration of the Synergy Burst move for Charizard. Gengar's Shadow Punch move has been changed. They have increased the hitbox size to fix a problem of the move mission. Blaziken has been changed. They have um, changed the low stance weak attack, I think it is. They have reduced the stall time for that move. The mid-air weak attack has been changed. They have increased part of the long range attack. Blaziken's burst attack has been changed. It no longer causes god break pikachu libra has been changed with this update as well pikachu libra's low stance strong attack has been changed they have made it easier to avoid follow-up attack synergy burst has been reduced high stance weak attack and the combo damage has been decreased going back to the synergy burst the duration of um of that for pikachu, pikachu libra has been reduced so synergy burst for pikachu libra will be shorter skeptile has been changed with this update as well um, the bullet speed or the bullet seed move they have increased the speed of growth skeptile strong attack charge they have reduced ease to guard break chandelure has been changed as well with this update so chandelure's charge strong attack has been changed so they have reduced the duration of bad status to match length of opponents bad status forward strong attack they have increased base damage side range attack they have um changed the lowest uh, they changed the movement speed they have lowered it Braxen or braxton however you want to pronounce it has had a massive change it seems like there is quite a lot of notes for Braxen. So pretty much Brakeson's flame charge move, they have increased the avoidance performance. Um, the strong attack move they have allowed um, for combos when the second hit ha when the second hit hits a grounded opponent. The burst attack they have fixed a glitch that causes support Pokemon to be unable to be called after attacking. Fire spin, the normal charge, they have enhanced and enhanced charge. Um, they have reduced the ease to guard crash. Backward range attack, normal and charged. They have reduced the ease to guard crash. Um, light screen, when switching to sunny day, Brakeson has been fixed to allow for jumping. 
Garchomp is the next Pokemon that has been changed and yeah, like breaks and there are quite a lot of notes for Garchomp. So pretty much the Stone Edge move, they have increased time to counter-attack after the move has been blocked. Counter-attack makes it easier to grab um, airborne opponents. Backward strong attack, they have altered the time um, for the opponent to block. Low stance strong attack, alter time for counter attacks. Burst attack, they have altered the opponent or altered so that the opponent cannot stop guarding after the first hit. So it seems like the burst attack for guard chomp has been slightly nerfed. So it sounds like that the opponent can guard after the first hit. So, um, or can stop guarding after the first hit so it sounds like that the burst attack has been nerfed a little bit there dig they have altered to hit against opponents in synergy burst mewtwo has been changed as well and mewtwo there are loads of notes for mewtwo so the drain punch move um, has been changed so they have increased the synergy gauge with the hit mewtwo's burst attack move has been changed as well they have shortened the invisible time when the move misses pokemon attacks they have increased the amount drained from the synergy gauge when the move um, has been finished pokemon attacks they have increased the amount drained from the synergy gauge when this move is used the barrier move has been changed the timing has been slowed down Confusion, confusion, I should say, has been changed as well. They have increased the chances for opponents to guard. Forward ranged attack lowers the reach of the move. Backward ranged attack, they've also changed as well. Basically, they've slowed the move and allowed it to be stopped by Pokemon attacks. Homing attack reduced the number of hits in the second stage. Counter attack, they have fixed a point of which the synergy gauge is decreased and the last pokemon that has been changed is shadow mewtwo so there is a lot that they have changed with shadow mewtwo so the recover move has been changed they have decreased the stall time for that move thunder has been changed they have allowed for combos when a po opponent is hit whilst airborne Backward range range attack has been changed. They have increased opponent stall time when they're hit whilst airborne. Easier to switch into Miracle Eye as well. Backward range attack. They have um, Miracle Eye. They have increased opponent stall time when they're hit. Back slap. I think it is, or it's back step. I should say. Um, that's back slap. That's a bit. That's a, that sounds like a stupid name for a move. And um, but back step, they have shortened the time to allow to do any attack or call support, or call um, support Pokemon. Synergy burst, they have um, changed the counter attack. Um, they have basically allowed for um, combos for that. Um, Pave wave vortex, they have increased the HP reduction for that move. Um, they have reduced damage obtained during guard. Miracle Eye, they have increased the HP reduction. Earthquake, they have increased the likelihood of being blocked. Jumping range attack, they have increased stall time. Alters timing of move to allow for opponent to move or to move um, more easily. Um, so they can dodge more easily pretty much. Um, so the homing attack has been changed as well and they have reduced the number of hits in the second stage. The synergy burst has been changed, they have reduced the duration of the synergy burst move. Pave wave vortex, they have fixed an issue when used straight after synergy burst. So that is all what they have done to the Pokemon within this latest update. Some Pokemon have been buffed, but it seems like a lot of the Pokemon have been nerfed. I'm not sure what I feel about this update. I still got a lot more to read out. Um, so they have changed the support Pokemon um, as well. So for Sniver, um, the Leaf Tornado, Tornado, they have increased base damage. Um, Crow Gunk, they have um, increased the Toxic move. Um, the damage has been increased. Um, 
increase the damage done at guard and decreases um, recoverable recoverable HP of opponent. Magneton they have um, increased the try attack base damage move. Quagsire they have changed the mud bomb move. Um, basically they have reduced distance. The opponent is pushed back when they guard. Diglett has been ch changed as well. The dig decreases base damage. Um, they have reduced ease of guard break as well. You've, I can't even pronounce this. I must apologise. But you've, you've, uh, you can't, I can't pronounce these Pokemon. Seriously. It's like in my head I pronounce them a certain way. But I know that's not how you pronounce them. So you're very tall. I pronounced that wrong. I know I have. I'm, I'm sure you lot are going to correct me in the comments. But basically Oblivion Wing. They have allowed for combos when it hits airborne opponents. Um... Latios, they have changed the Luster Purge move as my flipping notes just disappear off screen. They've just reappeared, thankfully. Um, so, delays the recovery, the, the recovery of support gauge reduces ease, ease of guard break as well. Um, Cressella, they have changed the Lunar Dance. Um, they have pre prevented Pokemon being invincible when called. Um, so, yeah, the update is required for you to go online as well. Um, so, yeah, that is pretty much everything that the update has done for Pokemon Tournament. It is a massive, massive, flipping massive update. Um, it seems like it's changing quite a lot about the game. One thing I'm pleased about, it seems like my, that my main, my champ, has been changed that much. But my other two... Go to characters Charizard and Blaziken. I think Blaziken has been changed. Let's just scroll through my notes. I think Blaziken has been changed. I know Charizard has been changed. Um, I'm not sure about Blaziken. Um, so I think all of the, all of the Pokemon have been changed. I'm not sure how I feel about um, you know game developers in general like changing like the characters, like changing how they play. Because it completely changes how the game plays itself. Um, so now Pokemon Tournament will completely you know, be different pretty much. Um, so this update will be coming out on the 15th of June. Which is next week. Um, so yeah that's pretty much everything that I, need to talk, that I need to talk about in this video. Let me know your thoughts about this update. Are you pleased about this update? Was there a character that really, really annoying you before this update? And, you know, it sounds like that this update is nerfing the hell out of that character. So, so maybe you can go online and actually enjoy the online experience now. Maybe this update is a good thing for you. Or maybe you're thinking, you know what, that update sounds completely rubbish. What the hell are Namco Bandai, or Bandai Namco, whatever they want to call themselves these days, they're always flipping changing the name. You know, it sounds like Bandai Namco flipping ruining the game making the game worse with this update why well, can't I just leave it alone let me know how you're feeling in the comments definitely I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say about this update but for the moment that is it for this video and I'll see you next time goodbye